Hello, it's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. My name is Bob Benson. I'm pastor of Christ Lutheran Church. We've been using the book of John as a discipleship text because of the special relationship that we think John, the youngest disciple, had with Jesus. Matter of fact, throughout the book of John, John refers to himself as a beloved disciple. And it's out of that loving relationship that John records some things that aren't recorded in the Synoptic Gospels. And it's because of that that we want to jump into it and look at it. I'm beginning in verse or in uh, chapter 18 today, and this chapter break happens to not be in a really great place um, because it starts out, and I'll read verse 1 through uh, verse 11. It starts out, when Jesus had spoken these words, well, what words had he spoken? We're talking about chapter 17, so this, is, this chapter break seems to be in a really terrible place. He went out with his disciples across the brook of Kidron, where there was a garden, which he and the disciples entered. Now Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, for Jesus often met there with his disciples. So Judas, having procured a band of soldiers with some officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, went there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that would happen to him, came forward and said to them, Who do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. So he asked them again, Who do you seek? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. So if you seek me, let these men go. This was to fill the words that were spoken. Of those whom you gave me, I have not lost one. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. So Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword in its sheath. Shall I not drink of the cup that the Father has given me? Here we just get a glimpse of... Uh, those those last days of Jesus Christ as he's confronted with the Pharisees and the scribes and uh, the soldiers. And uh, we believe these were Roman soldiers, but they were the Roman guard that guarded the temple. Um, but uh, they came to take Jesus into custody uh, because of the charges that had been uh, had been leveled against him. And I think the the best part about this whole section of scripture, uh, is where Jesus says, Put your sword in its, seat, in its sheath. Shall I not drink of the cup the Father has given me? At one point earlier in the, in the narrative here, Peter kind of pulled Jesus aside and said, Hey, we're not going to let these things happen to you. And he was still on that vein, even after Jesus said, Get thee behind me, Satan. Uh, he really rebuked Peter, but Peter still didn't get it, that these things must happen to Jesus Christ, that he was that suffering servant from Isaiah, that he uh, came as a sacrificial atonement for everyone. And uh, it's in that uh, engagement of life sometimes that we struggle with what exactly it is that God wants us to do. He doesn't always ask us to do the easiest things in the world. But he does tell us the things he's asked us to do would be good. And uh, so my encouragement for you today is walk in your relationship with Jesus Christ, flushing it out in your life. Do the things that God has called you to do. And uh, in that, fulfill your purpose. So for Discipleship Today, my name is Bob Benson. Thank you.